The Magic of Food, Rituals, Offerings, and Why We Eat Together by Gwen, Gwen Raven. Um, so, kind of like... So, what... He's done a fairly interesting job on this. Um, like, there's three types of cu cultures that he's kind of, like, talked about at the beginning that's kind of, like, a focus. Um, Summer, Greece, and Rome. Yeah, so, like, the Med Mediterranean. I always screw up that. Um, or the Isles of Mighty. But that area <laughs> of the world, that's where, um, like, to me, where he's focused. At least for the first um bit a bit of the book um but you are getting a decent chunk of like types of information um so like you do get um some recipes but he's writing on the connection between the two of magic and food so and like that's the whole chapter in itself so like um an enchanted cup of tea magic of dining out um so food and sex he goes through um why af aphrodisiacs aphrodisiacs work color and paste so this is what one of the recipes look like. You get a typical introduction, serving, prep, and cooking time, ingredients, and how to make it. So any type of recipe within this book, you got the same, this typical type of recipe setup. Um, so food and healing, so you got a few different types of um, spells here, so, um, so, like, house protection spell. Mix three tablespoons of black pepper with three tablespoons of coarse white salt and three teaspoons of minced garlic. Put the mixture in a jar and spread it around your property in a circle if you want to be super official, but it's not always easy to walk in a circle around your entire apartment and complex. At the very least, hit up the corners and then treat ways. So, <clears throat> um, goes into like pickling, um, so, and sometimes you'll get, um, this wisdom from the community pantry, so other people bringing in their own type of, um, story. Um, magic in the city, so ritual with the elements, food and grief, um, a meal to heal and say goodbye, ancestor dinners, um, food and community, um, A witch, a witch's kitchen toolkits, um, kind of like basic journal, measuring cup and timers, wooden spoon, well stocked pantry, um, intention and attention, um, and then in the third part you get, um, a like to me, like not a huge selection of recipes, but um, a decent start of um, recipes. Um, but yeah, like if you are looking, like this isn't um, a full on cookbook. Uh, there is a decent selection of recipes in this book, but this is more of the um, 
magic history connection to food and making your own connections to food with like magic behind it so with that this can be a good book for people to have a look at um so yeah and it can be very interesting for for people so yeah the magic of food by gwen raven happy readings